Okay. Hi, Finn, how are you? I'm good, thanks, hi. Yeah, so nice to see you. I'm such a big fan. Oh, thanks, I'm you too. <laughs> so, so, come on, tell us who you are. You um, are me. I'm the winner of Junior Bake Off 2019. <laughs> You were so good, literally. I was bowled over, like throughout the whole series. You were so brilliant every week. You were fantastic. Were you surprised when you won, or were you like, yeah, I knew it was coming? Or uh, I think the one thing it, it showed me was not to, I don't know, think that something's really going to happen because you know, just as you think, like, oh, I've got the hang of this, boom, blew you out the water. Oh, yeah. There's something about, yeah, it's something about that tent that when you bake in it, things just happen that never normally happen yeah. at home. Things take longer, like when I was making the caramel and I was stood there for like 15, 20 minutes and I was like, nothing's happening. Like, someone like messing with this underneath, like, what's going on? I know people think that we blame the, uh, you know, the stuff in the tent and it's like, no, seriously, something happens yeah. and it just goes, you just lose your mind a little bit. It just go a bit, woo. Yeah. Um, but did you enjoy the experience? Yeah, I would. Yeah, it was amazing. I'd do it again like, with the drop of a height of the asthma. Oh, they should do a, a, like a Junior Bake Off Christmas special because I got to go back yeah. last year for Christmas and it was great. Oh, yeah, I watched that. It was really good on that. It was fun. It was really good fun. Um, so we, we're doing, so this is my bake down basically, so a bit of baking in lockdown and I asked you what we should bake today and what was your suggestion? My suggestion was a bake well tart. Amazing because actually right, confession time Finn, I have never made a bake well tart. Really? Okay. Um, I'm shocked. I know, I'm such a bad baker, um, don't tell poor Hollywood. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna make one together. Um, I've got all my stuff. I've got you sent me the recipe, so I've got all my bits together. But I want you to show me how to make it, okay? So we're gonna twist it around a bit. So how do we start? What do we start with? So I'm just gonna start with the pastry. So I've got my flour here, and I'm going to add my butter into that. This is yeah. I've just cut this up and then put it in the fridge. So it's okay, really cool. And what are you doing with the flour and the butter? So I'm just like rubbing it in together, like just with the rubbing in method, just sort of use like the ends of your things and just sort of squish the the butter into like little, I don't know, like 2D pieces and then just sort of rub it into the flour. Okay. Yeah, you want it to look a bit like breadcrumbs, don't you? Yeah. Um so I've got I've got to admit, Finn, normally when I do this I cheat and I put it in the blend in the uh, food processor. Yeah. I know I've 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 done that a few times as well. Okay, so what was it like being in the tent with Liam? It was, it was fun. Like it was, it was just one of the kids. Like it was, like when it just kept us laughing all the time, like even judging or I don't know, say something went wrong, and then it just say something like as you were walking back that just make you feel like no, I'm proud of myself. Oh, he's a lovely guy, isn't he, Liam? Yeah. So what have you been doing in lockdown? So you're not at school, obviously. Yeah, I'm not at school. So I've been doing like my school work from home. Been doing that and then sending it off to teachers. Yeah, I've been using how to kite quite a lot. That's been the main thing that we've been doing. I've been talking a lot to um, Bake Off people. Yeah, are you still in touch with them? Yeah, like massively. Like, who are you? Do you talk to? Are you, are you, who are you close to from your year? Oh. I talk to Kian and Eliza the most over house party and talk to Tom O as well. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, because Eliza was in the final with you, wasn't she? Yeah. So I've got some breadcrumb looking. Yeah. Things. Got... That. Yeah. Cool. So now I'm going to get the icing sugar. So okay. that's just like five grams, so it's not much. Yeah. And I'm going to tip that into there. Cool. We'll put all the um, we'll put the whole recipe and ingredients and method and stuff in the comments underneath, so people will know yeah. what what to do. Are we mixing that in? Yeah, just sort of like toss that about with your hands, just so it's all incorporated. But you've got any like big lumps of icing sugar, like me, sort of crushed them. I'm not 
Oh yeah, I'm, I never sieve. I'm such a rebel. I literally, I never sieve. I just hate it. Especially when you sieve icing sugar, it just goes yeah. everywhere. We just stood there for like an hour, just with a spoon and a massive sieve full of icing sugar. And he's like, it's not much I can do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's things I'd rather be doing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've been incorporating my icing sugar. What am I doing now? So I've got one egg here. Just crack that into a little bowl or something like that. Yeah. And then I've got this palette knife here now, I'll be moving it in together. Just sort of give it a little bit of a whisk together and just add it into there. And yeah. then with like an offset spatula, I'll like the, like a blunt knife. Just yeah. sort of cut around, just sort of slash in through the milk. And if this doesn't sort of hold together the way it should, then we can add some cold water to it. And yeah. The aim right now is just like to not melt, to not melt the butter too much. Yeah, it's so, got to be cold, hasn't it? Everything's got to be as cold as possible with pastry. Yeah, which yeah, I find quite nice. Like, I'm really hot-handed like, with stuff, so I've always got to be careful how much I touch stuff. And just tip yeah. it out until it works, because it doesn't need to be floured or anything. And then we'll just bring it together, and just until it's sort of one piece of dough. Okay. People can't see my work surface because I've got a new web camera and it's really wide, but they can see you and that's the main thing. So you, you really got to do this spin because people don't know what's happening with me. So it's all on you. No pressure. Um, so we're, <laughs> we're bringing it together. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, don't like it too much because then it'll just become tough and we want to kind of avoid that where we can. And yeah, so I've got some, my um, hands are a bit pastry filled. And I've got some beeswax wrap here. And very good, very environmentally friendly. Got it for Christmas. Oh, nice. Did you see Nancy? Do you follow Nancy who won Bake Off a yeah. few years ago? She's got really good tips. She's amazing, isn't she? She's yeah. got really good tips for making your own beeswax paper. Um, because she's, she's very good at like environmentally friendly, but also sort of yeah. economically as well. I think I might have some beeswax paper. Yes, yes, I do. Look, there we go. We can both be environmentally, environmentally sound. Um, so, what are we doing with this? So, just sort of wrap it over, and yeah. then it's going to go in the fridge for a bit just to chill. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so, just place cool. this in the until it's needed. All right. <laughs> cool. So, what what are we doing with this? Right, I've actually managed to dig out some. I think it's still alright. I'm from the back of my fridge, but it's probably been in there for God knows how long. Um, yeah, it. That smells good. It smells good. Um, is, this is homemade, but from a long, long time ago. So I think it lasts forever as well. Yeah, especially if it's like, I was like stored the right way. Just yeah, exactly. Food. I've got these really, yeah, that smells alright. They've got these really sweet little kilner jars. Oh, they're nice. Little fruity right. ones. They're really sweet. Um, right, so what are we doing with the jam fin? So just place it into a bowl and then like with a spoon or something, just start to like break it up a little bit and it should go sort of a lot softer and like more spreadable. And once you've done that, just take this one side and don't put it back in the fridge so it'll just firm up again. How and much jam how much jam do we need? I mean it's up to you how jammy you want your bake. Well, I've just gone jammy, and as jammy as possible. I love a I love a bit of jam. Yeah. And um, yeah, just scoop it into a bowl and then just start to break it down a little bit with a spoon. Okay. And then just put it to one side. Lovely, right, jam. What's next? So, with the, the frangipan that'll go on top of the jam, I still get the stuff for that. Got your stuff? Yeah, I've got, so, I've got a stand mixer here and that's got 100 grams of butter in. Okay, um, hang, on, let, hang on, let me get this stand mixer ready. Hang on. My kitchen load is literally my it's like my, it's like a baby, it's like my baby. I love it so yeah. much. Is that a kitchen aid? Yeah. You can't not have a kitchen aid when you've been on bake off, that's the thing. Yeah. And then you get really close to them, don't you? Like when they are sitting there all pristine, you, you, you go home and you can oh, wow. Yeah, you've got a fancy one. Look at that fancy bowl. Very nice. Mine's just a boring, very boring, uh, boring silver bowl. Like, so sorry, 100 grams of butter. Yeah, just like really nice and soft and spreadable. So I just leave yeah. it out like flowers. And to that, I'm just going to add my caster sugar. 
Okie dokie. And then what we're going to do now is just sort of whiz it up for a few minutes just so it's a bit lighter skin colour. And yeah, so it's all incorporated and the sugar is off a little bit. Okie dokie. So with the eggs, just sort of crack them into a bowl. Okay. I'm just using the bowl of mash up for the same because save on washing up. Yeah. How many eggs do you want? Yeah, I'm using two eggs here just because if you're using one large egg then that's fine, but I've only got the one eggs, so. Okay. Now I've got a little trick for you, Finn. If you break to break an egg, if you break it on a flat surface rather than yeah. on the end of the bowl, that stops you getting loads of egg white. Not egg white, yeah. So we're we'll popping that in. Yeah, just start like one in at a time, just to it's like a creamy method but like making a cake. I just give that to me just so it's all blended. So with a frangipan, pan, you don't add any flour into it, which is quite good at the minute because <laughs> Don't worry, no one will know it spins. Scrape it back in the bowl. <laughs> it's fine, you've that old. It's all very it's all very safe. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you saying about no flour? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need any flour for the French pan bit. All you need is brown almonds. I'll tip that again. <laughs> <laughs> and because you're not using any flour, it, it sort of doesn't. It's got a bit of a different texture, so it's a bit more squat. So because it, it's quite dense, I'm just adding tiny tiny bit of baking powder so I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon in here okay. and just give that a bit of a mix in so once you've sort of just mixed the baking powder in just sort of stick it into the bowl yeah. and just sort of whiz it up again people don't normally do this with when I mean, they're doing a bake well but I'm going to add some vanilla into it just because I really like it and it'll look sort of like a cake batter now but it'll be sort of quite like the ground almonds will i don't know make it a bit gritty okay and all you have to do now is just set that to one side while we bake the pastry oh all right have you got a secret on the fridge back there yeah it's um because obviously there's like four of us in here at the minute and all of my cakes are not going to fit in that as well as all of their food so I can, I can just put all my cakes, all my buttercream in that and um, yeah, it's quite a good idea. Oh god, I'd love a cake fridge Finn, that's like my dream. <laughs> I've literally got to try and shove it all in my tiny little fridge there, that's my tiny fridge. Just sort of roll it and then turn it a little bit and just so you get a nice circle shape and just roll it to like the thickness of like a one pound coin. Okie dokie. Because if you do it too thick, then it's not going to be that nice sweet. But if it's too thin, you will have quite a lot of difficulty getting it into the mould and then getting it back out. Yeah. <laughs> With the tin, yeah. like the tin's preheated to 180. Yeah. And I place the tin in the fridge, not in the fridge, in the oven. So it gets really, really hot. Ah, that's a good trick. Yeah, I like that one. So I'm going to do that. Place I'm going to do that now. When you put the tray in the oven before you put the this on it, it the, the tin gets so hot that it blasts the bottom of the, the pastry. Yeah, I like that film. That's a good tip, that one. I saw someone had a, it was like a piece of marble or stone and they kept it in their oven and whenever they was making pastry, they put it on that and then it'd start baking the bakes. It's really clear. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's very posh, that is. A bit of marble in your oven. <laughs> so, you ready to put the thing in the tin? Yeah. I might just get a knife and just trim off a bit of excess. Yeah, how much do you ever leave any excess around the edge or...? Yeah, because if you just leave some like overhanging, because obviously it shrinks back a bit and I think that's what disappoints people when they're baking and it it just shrinks back and you end up with walls that are like that thin you meant to have. Yeah, so how much would you leave overhanging? I leave like a centimetre overhanging and then I just get a serrated knife at the end, but once it's finished, I'm um, big, get rid of that. 
Cool. Yeah. So just like grab a fork and just start stabbing at it and doing that. What am I doing next? So just have a piece of parchment or baking paper and just sort of point it up so it has like all these creases in it. So I'm going to put the baking beans in it and go like right to the corners. Marvellous. I'll pretend I haven't already done that. I'm just going to, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because how old are you now? I'm 14 on Monday. <laughs> Very exciting. So, so how old were you then when you started baking? 12? 11 or 12? I think I was about 12. Because, yeah, this is about 12 maybe. So I'm just going to get the tin out of the oven. So it should be quite hot now. Okay. And then that, like, as soon as you put it in, I just like turn it down to like 150. Ah, okay. And yeah, just sort of bake that for like 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to remove the beans and the paper and then bake it for like another five, ten minutes. Thank you, Derek. Here we go. I'm going to take out the oven, remove the baking beans and the paper, and then put it back in the oven for a bit, get rid of the overhang, and then paint some egg on it, bake it for a bit longer, and then we can start spreading the jam and the frangipan. Right, okay, and then the fran, so that all, and then how long does it bake with the jam and the frangipan in? So it bakes for about 35 to like 40 minutes, depending on like, how, I don't know, what your oven's like. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then, and then does it need to cool before you put the icing on it? Yeah, it's, but obviously don't ice it if it's really warm, because it'll just start to melt and, yeah, it's not going to end how you want it. <laughs> oh, it very nicely, it smells lovely. I'm going to make the icing now that go, that go on the top that will feather some pink through. So I've got your icing with sugar here and I don't know why this is in a squeezy bottle but I think I just find them more fun. Wow. What's that? Just water? Ooh. Yeah, just add three tablespoons of water just to begin with and then we'll do the hours. Okay. Like a simple water icing. Nice. What consistency are we looking for with the icing? Well, what I've got at the minute, it's really thick, it's a bit like concrete. Yeah. And like, we don't want that because we're going to be pouring it on top. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water to mine just to thin it down. So you want it kind um, of pour, pouring consistency? Yeah. Yeah, I think mine's still a bit thick. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take a little bit out and just transfer it into a separate bowl. Okay. Is that for the pink? Yeah, so you only want about, I don't know, like two scoops of it. Not much. Not much, okay. And we've got that there. And just want to add like a little bit, because obviously you don't want it neon pink. But then again, if you add enough food colouring, then there's no point in Yeah, you want, you want it quite a delicate pink, don't you? I, I remember like when, I'm sure they've had to make a Bakewell tart on Bake Off before. For like yeah. um, a technical, I think, at one point. And yeah. um, I remember some people did it like bright neon, although I think I've done that now, it's really bright pink. No, I've said that. I am as well. <laughs> That's all right. My daughter will love it, she loves pink. <laughs> yeah, I've gone, I think I've gone a little bit too pink there, Finn, what do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we'll just go with it, we'll go with it. <laughs> At least you're not having to put it in front of one of the judges. Yeah. <laughs> And with the white icing, all we're going to do is just pour it over the top to make sure there's no like big crumbs that could stop getting it and we know how it looks. Okay. I'm not going to lie, mine's still a little bit warm, but I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and hope for the best, basically. So I've added the white icing on. Just use like a spatula or even like the back of a spoon to just like spread it on a little bit. Yeah. So get all of the edges. If you just pipe your lines neatly, then the feathering will just turn out a little bit nicer on top. Okay. She said to us, when you're feathering, just have the skewer and just just drag it through lightly. Don't touch the, the base of it. Ah, okay. So I'm just going in stripes across, yeah? Yeah. Go for it.
one day. I've gone crazy with the stripes now, look, I've just got a bit mental. Oh, that's well good. It's gone a bit wacky, it's gone a bit wacky. Um, well, thank you so much, Finn, for baking with me and my bake going. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Um, so if people want to follow your bakes, where can they find you? I'm on Instagram at Bake by Finn, and I'm also on YouTube as well. Oh, is it Bake by Finn on YouTube? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Have a great birthday. Oh, thanks. Even though you can't go out, at least you can have some cake, hopefully. <laughs> you said what's the you had to make this? Oh, no, it was my pleasure. You take care. You too. Bye. <laughs>